Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday, November the 2nd. It's only 10, 11 p.m., which is very, very early for me. I just wanted to pop in here, give another little bit of a channel update. So me and uh, one, of the, one of the other people I've had on here before, um, we attempted to do a cast tonight, but it just didn't come together exactly how we expected it. So, um, which is all fine and everything. I'll probably, I'll keep that footage and if it, uh, applies in the future, then I'll, uh, insert that somewhere, but... I guess uh, if it's any of a channel update, and I sort of touched on it a little bit the other night, I don't think people who aren't YouTubers, who don't do this every day, or try to do it every day, realize how difficult it actually is. It's quite difficult <laughs> to, to find somebody. I mean, I was literally like here on my phone, like texting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Just any topic, about any topic that they want to talk about. I mean, because I don't have any particular. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. I don't have any particular topic that I want to focus on. I mean, I'm DC Entropy. DC entropy. It's like the measure of chaos in any given system. So I might start sort of focused on a particular idea that it sort of spreads out from there and, and into entropy. So, yeah. Got all the lights on here in the, in the garage tonight. So I'm pretty bright, <laughs> much brighter than usual. Um, I did go out to the pub tonight, um, met up with, uh, I was, I was actually just sitting by myself at the pub and a random person who I should have remembered, but didn't, um, walked up and he's like, do you have a light? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I pulled out my lighter and he's like, yeah, my friend smokes too. So I'm going to go light up his and he came back and he's like, your name's Dennis, right? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. So he remembered me. It was from a crypto crypto um, meeting that I was a part of years ago. It's probably like two and a half, probably about two and a half years ago now, uh, during the pandemic or somewhere around that time. And, and he remembered me from that meeting. He remembered my name. And then he told me here's his first name, Nick. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I have you on my phone as Nick Crypto because I didn't know your last name. So I just put you in my phone as Nick Crypto. So we, I, I went over to the table he was sitting at with his, uh, I don't know if it was his brother. I think it was his brother. Might have been a friend. That's a brother, quote, unquote. But I had a good conversation with them, like about, cryptocurrency and what if what if we would have got in earlier you know whether it was dogecoin or bitcoin or ethereum or whatever throughout the old days and so we had a pretty good conversation and a, another friend of mine uh joined us and we got off that topic or whatever but all good so yeah so that was sort of my evening tonight, just sort of catching up with uh, some people that I had met prior, previously in the in the crypto world. Um, I know the crypto market's sort of been taking a positive bump here over the past uh, week or so, ever since Elon, um, you know, bought Twitter. And, you know, Elon was a big proponent of 
not only Bitcoin, but Dogecoin. And then there's like a really stupid coin. <laughs> I, I, I hesitate to even mention it because I don't want to like, you know, even mention it here in the public realms or whatever, but it's like Elon coin. And the Elon coin has literally nothing to do with Elon Musk, but I've noticed over the past week since uh, Elon closed on the whole Twitter deal and everything, that that coin has been skyrocketing. It's been going up like every day. I get notifications here on my phone like every couple hours that that coin's up like 12% or up like 3% or whatever. And it's, it's stupid because he has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with him. And it's, it's frustrating because honestly, I wish I would have like held that. I, I bought it a long time ago, back when I was stupid and got into that. I sort of wish I would have held it because I put like three or 400 bucks in. So now that three or 400 these days would have been like eight or 900. I could have sold out, kept my principal, cashed out the profit and just continued from there. But, uh, yeah. So it's just market volatility. It, it, it happens in the real stock market too. It's not just limited to cryptocurrencies. Whenever, even back when I was a day trader, um, whenever a uh, stock that somebody was associated with, like, you know, when that person got a boost or when the company got a boost or whatever, it would carry over, you know. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to sort of keep it short tonight. Uh, just thought I'd jump in and, like I said, I tried to get into a, a cast earlier here with one of my other associates, and it just didn't quite work out as expected. Um, at that person's request, I ended it, and uh, and here I am, just doing my own doing my own thing. So, everybody, have a good night, and as usual, peace out.